Now, we also need to be able to draw graphs of these functions. So for example, if you've got a function like this, y equals modulus of x, we need to be able to draw how the graph of this function looks like. Okay. Now, one way to do this could be that you take some points, right? And draw them and see what, what the graph looks like. Now, let's take some points. Let's start with that. Let's draw a table. We've got some values of X and Y here. Let's input some values here. Let's say we use minus four, minus two, zero, two, and four as the values of X that we want to input in this particular function. Now, when we have X equal to minus four, what value of Y do we get? Minus four modulus, that gives us four. So Y value will be four in this case. When X equals minus two, when you input minus two in place of X here, what value y do you get? Minus two come modulus, that's, that gives you two. This is two, zero pay, you get zero, zero modulus is zero. What about modulus of two? That's two, modulus of four is four. These are the points that we are getting uh, in our table. Now, if we were to join these points on a number line, let's see what type of graph we get from this. Let's mark these points. This is the x axis, this is the y axis. We've got one, two, three, four here, and one, two, three, four, minus one, minus two, minus three, and minus four. Let's plot these points and see what the shape looks like. When x is minus four, what about the value of y? We've got y equal to four. When x is minus two, y is two and when x is zero, y is zero, all right? Then when x is two, y is two. When x is four, y is also four. Now you see what the shape of the graph looks like. If you were to join these points, you get a straight line here and you get a straight line here like this. Y equals modulus of x function. Right, so this is the general shape of modulus graphs, V-shaped. Sometimes there's another possible shape and that is inverted V. We'll see that in, in, in a few minutes. But this is how the graph looks like. Now you see what exactly is happening here. Y equals X. This is a straight line without the modulus function. How does it look like? This yellow highlight that you see here, this is the line y equals x. This is y equals x. Okay. Now when you put when you put a modulus sign around x, what happens is this part that is below the x-axis, since y cannot be negative here because whatever the value of x you input here, the modulus sign is going to make it positive and the output that you get from this function is always going to be positive. Now, since the output is going to be positive, the y value is always going to be positive. So this part of the graph that is below the x-axis, what happens in the case of modulus is it's reflected in the x-axis and you get this graph instead. Okay, so whatever part of the graph is below the x axis in this function, that is reflected in the x axis and it comes here. Right, so that's another way of thinking about this. You could just draw the graph without the modulus, and then whatever part is below the x axis, you will reflect it above the x axis. Okay, so that's how the graph of the modulus function looks like. Any problem with this? This is one basic example. We'll, we'll look at some variations now. If there are no questions on this, all right. Okay, so let's take another function. Let's take a function that looks like this. Y equals modulus of, let's say, X minus three. Okay, this is what the function looks like now. We want to draw the graph of this function. Now, how do you draw this graph? One possibility is 
one possibility is that you draw the graph of the function y equals x minus three, right? And then whatever part is below the x-axis ref reflected above the x-axis, right? So x minus three, how is that graph going to look like? It's a straight line, right? Y equals x minus three. You could take any two points, let's say x equals zero. When x equals zero, what, what's the value of y? Y is minus three. So you get one point here. And let's input x equals three. When x equals three, y equals zero. So you've got another point here. This is three and this is minus three. Y equals three graph looks like this. Okay. Sorry, y equals x minus three graph. This is y equals x minus three. Now, since you want to draw the graph of this modulus function, all you have to do is the part of the graph that is below the x-axis, reflect it above the x-axis, such that it becomes something like this. And the modulus graph is this now. This is the graph of y equals modulus of x minus three. Take it. Yeah, up the graph, I guess. So, ab niche wala part abo erase kar de because that's not the graph of modulus function. Is ko hamata dete hain. Ye apka graph ban gaya y equals modulus of x minus three. Now it cuts the y-axis at three here as well. This is how the graph looks like. Take okay, so you could draw, draw this graph and then reflect that graph in the x-axis. You get what you want. Now let's take another example. Let's say we write something like this. Y equals minus into modulus of two x plus four. What about this now? How does the graph of this function look like? Can everyone try this for a minute and see what the graph would look like? Tell me Now, this is extremely important. The next five minutes, you can draw any modulus graph that you would have to. Okay. Now, let's go through the process. First of all, remember there are two possible shapes of a modulus graph. One is this shape. It might look like this. And there's also this inverted V that you get when you get a negative sign outside. Let me change that. Let's go back in a moment. These are two possible shapes. Okay, these two possible shapes only for any modulus graph. Now, when do you get the first shape? Your modulus function could be something like this, y equals a into modulus of, let's say, mx plus c. You have only linear graphs. You have only syllabus for linear modulus function, hai, not quadratic or cubic. You could only have linear function like this. This type of graph draw karna hai ga. So it'll be something like this. You might have a number multiplied outside with the modulus, and then you'll have something linear inside the modulus. Now, if this number outside positive, you get the first shape, you get a V shape. If this number outside is negative, you get this inverted V. do possible shapes Remember this, okay? These are the two possible shapes. Now, how are you going to draw the graph of any modulus function? There's one important point that you have in this graph, and that's this point. We call this vertex. This is called the vertex of the graph. Okay. What we'll do is we will find the coordinates of the vertex first. 
once we have them we can just take a point towards the left side of the vertex and one point towards the right side of the vertex and we will get the graph now let's do that let's do that using an example so the first thing we're going to do here is i'm going to learn how to find the vertex finding the vertex the point where you have this corner remember there are only two possible chips what do you want to learn first is you want to figure out how you get this vertex first now let's take an example let's say we have the same graph y equals minus into modulus of 2x plus 4 y equals minus into modulus of 2x plus 4 how do you find the vertex all you have to do is expression put the expression inside the modulus equal to zero that's all you've got to do is your under wala part here 2x plus 4 you put this equal to zero. So zero say equate here. Kya aga aapke paas? Minus four over two. That is minus two. This is the point where you are going to have the vertex. Isse corresponding y ka value kaise aayegi aapke paas sab? Iske andar input kar da. In this case, it turns out to be zero minus into two into minus two plus four, and you get zero from that. This is where the vertex is going to be. Now, when you draw this graph. This vertex will be minus 2, 0. Pe Let's say this is 1, this is minus 1, this is minus 2. This is where the vertex is going to be. At minus 2, 0. Okay, this is the vertex. That's the first thing that you're going to do. You're going to write down the coordinates of the vertex. Once you have that, all you have to do is take one point to the right of this and one point to the left of this, join all of them and you get the graph. Now, let me do that process on this particular function. We've got y equals minus into modulus of two x plus four. We have one point which is minus two. point which is minus two you going to write this in the middle and then all you have to do is take one point to the left of this you could take let's say minus four minus three or whatever take one point to the right of it you could take zero for instance just by taking these three points you can draw this graph directly all right now what do you get when you put minus four here when you, when you put x equals minus 4, you get 2 into minus 4, minus 8, minus 8 plus 4, that's minus 4. Dabkipas ajaga minus into modulus of minus 4, and that's going to give you minus 4. So when x is minus 4, y is minus 4. When x is minus 2, you're going to get 0 from that. When x is 0, when you input that here, you're going to get minus 4 again. So you've got three points. All you have to do is plot these three points and you'll get your graph. Let me do that here now. Uh, sorry, what happened there? This is all we need to do. This is minus two, minus three, minus four. At minus four, you've got minus four. Is one point. At minus two, you've got zero. And at zero, you can have minus four. This is another point. These are the three points that you've got. Start from the vertex, draw a line on this side. And again, draw a line on the other side. This is the graph that you're looking for. So now if you have to draw any modulus graph, this is all you're going to do. I'm going to write down the steps now. Drawing the graph of a modulus function is just very straightforward like this. Let me write down the steps. 
drawing the graph of a modulus function this is what we're going to do first of all find vertex how do you find the vertex whatever is the part inside the modulus is equal to 0 2x plus 4 tha yahan pe but that equal to 0 you get the vertex okay now what you have to do is take one point to the right of this vertex and one point to the left one point on either side of vertex that's the second thing you do and then finally on your graph you join the vertex with each of these points and extend those lines this is all you you're going to do whenever you have to draw a modulus function so take another example let's say we've got y equals minus 3x plus 6 this is the graph that we have to draw by equals minus 3x plus 6 the modulus how do you start you start by finding the vertex vertex kaise aayega jo andar wala part hai isko zero se equate kar de minus 3x plus 6 equal to 0 what do we get this gives us x equal to 2 this is your vertex aapka x coordinate hai vertex all you have to do now is Take one point to the left of it, one point to the right of it. This is going to be in the middle. X equals two is in the middle. When x is two, y is zero. Take one point to the left of it. Let's say zero. When you input zero here, y turns out to be six. Take one point to the right. Let's say I take three. When you input three here, you get minus three into three. That's minus nine plus six minus three minus three. Come out less. That's going to be three. ये इसके अंदर इनपुट की एक्स की वैल्यू माइनस थ्री इंटू थ्री प्लस सिक्स मॉडलस दैट्स गोइंग टू गिव यू मॉडलस ऑफ माइनस थ्री एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी थ्री सो दीज आर थ्री पॉइंट्स दैट यू हैव ऑल यू हैव टू डू नाउ इज ड्रॉ दिस ग्राफ मार्क दीज थ्री पॉइंट्स जीरो एक्स एक्सिस वी गॉट वन टू Three, four. One point is zero six. That's going to be here. Then you have two zero. That's the vertex. Three three. That's going to be here. Start from the vertex. Draw one line on this side. Again, starting from the vertex, draw another line on this side. You can draw this graph directly like this. You don't have to think about reflection and everything. Just by using this method. whatever the graph is you'll get the shape directly as well you won't have to think about the shape you just have to find the vertex take one point on either side join those three points and you get the graph all right so any graph that you get this is all that you've got to do find the vertex take one point on each side of the vertex and then join the vertex to each of those points and extend those lines You won't find many questions on graphs in past papers because they were added to the syllabus in twenty uh, twenty. So twenty twenty onward, you might you'll find a few questions, but not before that. Okay, but they're all going to be pretty straightforward. All right, let's start with this. This is y equals modulus of two x minus three. Now, how do you draw the graph of this function again? what did we just discuss first thing you do is you find the vertex okay 2x minus 3 equal to 0 put this equal to 0 you get x equals 3 over 2 which is 1.5 this is one point that you have now all you've got to do is 
two or more points one to the right of it one to the left of it 1.5 pay the value of y is zero take one point to the left of 1.5 you could take zero for instance when x is zero y is going to be zero minus three modulus that gives you three right minus three modulus that's three so zero pay you get three and you could take one point to the right of it you could take three for instance when you put three here you get six minus three modulus which gives you three as the result at three you again get three and now when you have to draw the graph this is all that you do just plot those points you've got zero here and you have three here and the middle you've got 1.5 vertically you could have 1.5 somewhere here and three here let's mark those points when x is zero y is three you've got one point here at 1.5 y is zero at three y is three again you start from the vertex draw one line on this side and draw another line on the other side this is your graph yeah, the graph will check out. Okay. This is how you graph draw the graph of a modulus function. Let's look at the second part. Second part may you have just have to solve this inequality. You can just use your standard method for this. How do you do this? You treat this as an equation 3x minus 1 equals modulus of 2x minus 3. Put plus minus instead of the modulus. 3x minus 1 equals plus minus 2x minus 3. You split it into two parts, 2x, 3x minus 1 equals 2x minus 3, 3x minus 1 equals minus into 2x minus 3. You get two equations, one gives you x equal to minus 2, and the other gives you 3x minus 1 equals minus 2x plus 3, and you get 5x equal to 4, x equals 4 over 5. You've got these two cutoff points. Now you draw a number line. number line and you've got minus two here and four over five here. These are the two critical points, the two cutoff points. They divide your number line into three different regions. You take one point in each region, take one point to the left of minus two, you could take minus three for instance, take one point in the middle, you could take zero in the middle, take one point on the right side, four over five is 0 0.8, right side where you could take one. Now, what is your inequality? The inequality is 3x minus 1 greater than modulus of 2x minus 3. This was the inequality. Put these values in that inequality. Put minus 3 first. When you input minus 3, you get 3 into minus 3 minus 1. That is greater than modulus of 2 into minus 3 minus 3. On the left side, you have minus 9 minus 1, which is minus 10. That's greater than modulus of minus nine and that gives you minus 10 greater than nine is that correct that's not correct so this region is not correct put zero now when you input zero you get three into zero minus one that's greater than modulus of two into zero minus three and that gives you minus one greater than minus three modulus which is three this is also incorrect now it's very likely the last one is going to be correct but you can just check that just to be sure Put one now, three into one minus one, that's greater than modulus of two into one minus three. Simplify this and it's gonna give you two greater than modulus of minus one and that's two greater than one, which is correct. So this region is correct. Your final answer therefore is going to be anything that's towards the right of four over five. So you say X greater than four over five is the solution to this inequality, right? So that's the same process as before. This is how you solve inequalities. Okay, so we learned how to draw graphs and we learned how to uh, solve modulus inequalities and modulus equations in this uh, topic. So that's all that we had to do in this topic.